usually in posterior teeth we have multiple canals isn't it so identification of a root canal orifices is the most important factor clinically as they determine the final extensions of external outline form of access cavity preparation so where are these root canal orifices precisely present Ideally, they are present at the corners of the final preparation to facilitate shaping as well as cleaning. This is very, very important. And internally, within the axis cavity, the root canal orifices are located entirely on the pulpal floor, as you can see here, the blue one. So, internally, within the axis cavity, the orifices are located entirely on the pulpal floor. However, extension of these orifices onto the axial wall creates the so-called mouse hole effect as you can see here and this resembles a mouse hole. So this mouse hole effect indicates inadequate extension. In other words, under extension of the axis cavity and it impedes straight line axis. So the consequence of this mouse hole effect is impeding straight line axis. So care has to be taken to reposition the canal orifices onto the pulpal floor. This is very very important theoretically as well as clinically. Right? So mouse hole effect is nothing but extension of these canal orifices onto the axial wall impeding straight line axis. And what does it represent? It represents inadequate extension or under extension of axis cavity.